It will come down to this exactly. Here we go. Zamoyski elevates his two. It's on the way! That is what you call window pain! The last shot was a moment for us that we always play safe. We always play in overtime to get, you know, uh, two times for one point. But this time, on, on the time of before the overtime, we said to each other, OK, now is the moment. We need to risk it all and, you know, just go for a two-pointer and close the game as soon as possible. So uh, Adrian made a good, very good screen for me and I just needed to, you know, use the screen properly, go in the air, make a, sh make a two-pointer. It wasn't, you know, too much time to aim for the shot, so the, the defender was right behind me. So I need to release a quick fadeaway shot for, for two-pointer and I hit it off the glass and, you know, the rest is the history. It was uh, comparable to, to the same emotions from grass three years uh, before. And you know, all the emotions just went out my, when my friends from the, from the team, they hugged me from behind. That was the moment that everybody released their emotions, you know, cried. They were so, uh, so, so emotional at that moment, just so joyful and so excited that we did it. You know, we know how, how much we sacrificed to get this ticket and that was the last ticket uh, to get to the uh, Paris Olympics. Zamoyski will represent Poland for the second time in the Olympics with a Maurice Lapoie buzzer beater for the ages. It was like incredible moments for me because I'm also 24 years old. So it was like big happiness, huge emotions, you know, during the, like, especially on the last game. And maybe like after two weeks, I just you know recognize that I wanna be in Olympics, so it was huge for me. It's not easy to um, adapt between the from the five for five to three on three, so you need to uh, catch as fast as possible everything what is going on uh, around three on three, catching the experience. Mm, rules, some movements on the court. Of course, I know the Zibo, uh, Przemek Zamoyski, I know the coach. Uh, also, this would happen on the end of the season. I moved to the team where it was Adrian Bogutski. Earlier, I was playing in uh, some of the team uh, with uh, uh, Michał Sokowski, so I know everybody. I think because of that, that we know each other, it's easier to build everything uh, from the inside, especially from the, our atmosphere, because from the first day when we uh, meet each other, this feeling inside the team is uh, something what we have to get from the fundamentals yeah and then is a uh, uh, we are seeing big difference on the court because everybody are trusting each other we are building something something bigger than usual so that's what help us a lot to to get something uh, like we we already did we put up a really new squad just before the olympic uh, qualifying tournament so it wasn't so easy for us to adapt. Two of our four guys were only strictly playing five-on-five five basketball, so it's, it's way different in basketball and experience. If you don't have experience in 3x3, it's really hard for you to just step in and make a difference right away. We knew uh, bringing on the, on the team Philip and uh, Michal will give us a significant boost you know, of the quality of, of basketball players. And as you see, they adapt very well, game by game. They were playing better and better, and and we we managed to, to do our mission to get the last ticket uh, for the Olympics. So I'm I'm really I'm really glad and I'm really proud of these guys that they adapt so quick, and they realized and achieved their their dream goals. About this World Cup in Vienna. It was like like huge emotion for me because like one day before like this quarterfinal in Brazil against Brazil I just like got info that like, my grandfather passed away so it was like huge emotion for me that like in the next year we just advanced to like Paris so I think that he just like, he's proud proud of me and you know it was really emotional to me. The grandfather and grandmother like because you know they were like mother and father for me I think that you know they just. A little bit helped us during this Mongolia game, so it was like they just helped me from really when I, it was the beginning of my career 
during the under 16, under 18, under 20, like national team was like they were every time with me. So it was like a little bit punch for me, like before before this quarterfinal against against Brazil. But we just need to keep going and do our job. So finally we did it. If we talk about just national team, like. You know, about tournaments is like the most important thing in my life. It's like every like player dream to go to Olympics. So what can what I can say it more? You know, it was like living the dream, and I hope that we're gonna took some medal medal there. It's not the pressure, excitement, and like athletes, sportsmen can say it's like Olympics are Mount Everest for the athletes. So we are catching this Mount Everest. So that's unbelievable and. That's for sure excitement and more ex excitement than pressure. There can happen everything. Eight of the best teams in the world. Let's do it. Let's play the games. We already know uh, how to prepare. We've been in Tokyo three years ago. We, kn we knew exactly what kind of mistakes we did in the preparations before. So we learned from these mistakes. Now we're gonna be much more well prepared for the for the uh, Paris Olympics and hopefully that's what I said before we're aiming for medals and, and hopefully we're gonna go. We just need to keep focus on game by game by game and for sure like Serbia will be the, the like toughest one also like Netherlands, USA like there is no like weak team during the Olympics so we need to be focused on our, on our game plan and our game and we'll be okay. Because of the type of the playing, how we are playing in Paris, uh, everybody are in one group playing against each other. Uh, that's going to be also amazing because can happen everything uh, from the sixth pool. Uh, you can win the gold medal, Olympic medal. Tokyo was a little bit, you know, 50-50. That was the biggest stage, the biggest tournament of our lives. First time 3x3 was, you know, uh, debuting uh, uh, at the Olympics. So we were happy. We just, we just uh, been the, the part of eight best teams in the world. But this time it's going to be with fans in Paris, in great location. We got very good uh, memories uh, with Paris the three years uh, before we, we got the bronze medal next to the Eiffel Tower, so hopefully this year we also aiming that it's going to be the best moment of our lives and you know, with the fans it's going to be something uh, spectacular. The seventh place when we took in, in Tokyo wasn't enough satisfying for us, uh, we were aiming for medals and, and with the, such a uh, mind, mindset and, and, and goal we're going for, for Paris for this, this year. It's only eight teams, so no, it's you. You feeling that you're really close to this uh, medal area, and that's what we we hoping for to to reach the the medal zone and and finally you know uh, make our dreams uh, come alive. Yeah.